everyone welcome back and thank you so much for watching for today's video I have this makeup look for you guys this is actually a look inspired by makeup by Mario he did a look on one of the models I'm um, using his palette the master palette that he did in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills and he created this really pretty smoky sultry look I just fell in love with that look and I just really wanted to recreate it so yeah that's what I will be doing for you guys today if you want to see how I got this look right here then please keep watching so of course today we're gonna be using the makeup by Mario palette so first I'm picking up the shade called Isabel it's just a nice burnt orange shade and I'm putting that into my crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush I'm picking up a little bit more just to deepen it up a little bit and I am just making sure that I'm buffing it in nicely into the crease. Next I'm moving into a smaller brush which is a little bit more dense and I'm taking the shade called Claudia. It's pretty much a nice bluish black shade I don't know how to describe it but I'm just putting that into my lower crease now just a little bit below the first shade next I'm taking that same blending brush that I was using earlier and blending everything now I'm moving into a even smaller blending brush and picking up the same bluish black color and adding that to my crease just to define it a little bit more and then I'm going back to my blending brush, the Sigma E40, to further blend it all. Next, for the lid, I'm picking up this bronzy shade and just adding that to the lid. You will see later on that I will spray some Fix Plus and then go back, but for now, I'm just adding it. And again, I'm taking another smaller brush because I feel like it's not dark enough. So I want to define it a little bit more. And again, I'm blending with the Sigma E40. Next, for the inner corner, I'm taking the shade called Fifth Avenue. It's a beautiful gold shade, and I'm adding that to my inner corner. Now for the bottom lash line, I'm taking the beautiful green shade and adding that to my lower lash line. Now here, as you can see, I just create some fix plus and I went back into the bronze shade I'm doing the same thing with that green shade again these shadows are of course really pigmented but I just love using fix plus to intensify it even more now I'm picking up that gold shade one more time the fifth avenue shade and adding that to the lower lash line as well because I did see Mario added a little bit of that with the green then I'm just going back again with the green to blend everything for the waterline, I'm just adding this black eyeliner from Pixi, and I'm also tight lining my eyes. Now I'm just curling my lashes, adding some mascara and false lashes. Whoops, well then, <laughs> that was a fail. Let's try again. There we go. These are the KISS number 11 lashes and I'm using the House of Lashes glue. I'm so sorry that I'm out of focus here, but uh, it was kind of hard. Now for my brow one highlight, I am just using a concealer because in the picture he just had a kind of a matte highlight under. And I am blending it out so that we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going back to that same shade, the first shade that we used called Isabel, and I'm smudging that onto my lower lash line to really blend everything together. And I'm also using the E40 to blend it. Now I'm just adding some mascara to my bottom lashes to finish off the eyes. 
Next, moving on to the face. My face routine is pretty much the same. So yeah, I'm just bronzing up my face with my NYX Mad Bronzer in Deep Tan. I have not been contouring so much. I've been mainly bronzing, so yeah. For highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm taking the two shades, I think it's Kitty Cat and Forever Young, and I'm mixing those two and adding it onto the cheeks, the chin, and the nose. And the cupid's bow next for blush I'm using Milani luminoso now here what I'm doing is I'm just trying to disguise my pimples I actually learned this trick from Desi I actually have a beauty mark right beside my nose on my, on the right hand side but it always gets covered because of the makeup and everything but recently I've just been wiping it whenever I do remember to wipe it. And then I go back with my beauty blender to really blend it so it doesn't look too dark, you know? And then go over it with the blush brush. Now to finish off this look, I am just using the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. And for lipstick today, I'll be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And on top of that, I'm gonna be adding a gloss this is from MAC. I'm not too sure of the name, but I will leave it in the description box. Okay, so this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I was going to say video, but look. <laughs> um, I really like the way this look came out. It just looks so sultry smoky and I really like it so I really hope you guys did as well if you did then please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up I will really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video Mwah.